But first, we begin with breaking news out of Genesee County. The oldest of five teenagers accused in the deadly I-75 rock throwing case will spend up to 20 years behind bars. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Meg McLeod. And I'm David Custer. Kyle Anger threw the rock that killed Kenneth White in the October 2017 incident. TV5's Rachel McCreary joins us live in Flint with more on today's developments. Rachel. David and Meg, prosecutors say that Kyle Anger was the ringleader in all of this. They say that he was the oldest one. He was the one that drove all of the teens to the overpass that day. And they say that he was the one that threw the fatal rock that killed Kenneth White. Now today in court, he was sentenced to 39 months up to 20 years in prison for the death of Kenneth White. At the sentencing, Judge Joseph Farah says with the Cobbs agreement, Anger pleaded guilty to second degree murder with the condition, he would be sentenced within manslaughter guidelines. Now, the four other teens involved in the case have withdrew their plea and have been asked to be sentenced as juveniles. Now, Farah believes that all five of the defendants should share similar sentences and sentencing anger under second degree murder guidelines would be unjust. Anger has already served 24 months in jail, which means anger could be released from prison in 15 months, a sentence that is not strong enough for Kenneth White's mother. I wanted to see more time. He could get out in less than a year or a year or less. I will be at that parole hearing to make sure he does not get out. If I have to crawl back up to this state, I will make sure my son gets his justice. They're still talking and trying to create their And this is a sentence that didn't please either family. Now, Anger's defense attorney says Kyle's family is upset about the length of the sentence, but are coming to terms with it. You kind of have to expect this type of sentence. And, you know, I can't stand here and fault Judge Farah for what he did. I, you know, I think he put in a ton of time on this case. And I commend him for it, to be honest with you now. Obviously, we're disappointed in the sentence. Um, but, you know, Mr. White died here. Now today in court, Anger did apologize to the families affected. And of course, we'll have more on that beginning at 6. In Flint, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5. All right, thank you so much, Rachel. And the case for the four younger teens remains in limbo while a judge decides whether they can be, can be, can be moved down to the juvenile court system.